when jo okay this is our boy sunny v2 and i would be remiss if i didn't watch this the unhealthiest restaurant in america why it's controversial hey hey blue nice shirt <laughs> okay i'll ban you okay look it's just not my fault i only have four shirts all right Okay, let's take a look at this. John Basso first opened the Heart Attack Grill. He had no idea that serving the world's unhealthiest menu would come with so much controversy. Countless lawsuits, an avalanche of bad press, and multiple heart attacks on the premises. Try to open- If you're gonna I'm open- I'm so glad I get to watch my favorite bald streamer. If you're gonna open the Heart Attack Grill, you're gonna get contra- He knew what he was doing. He knew what he's- you can't tell me this guy doesn't know what he's doing, right? Opening the Heart Attack Grill in 2005, Basso owned three different exercise gyms over a 12-year period where he'd advise clients on their dietary and exercise needs, as well as on techniques of caloric reduction. However, he felt this was an untruthful line of work, stating, It's disgusting because you're promising people things that are outside their genetic possibility. Instead I hate it when people say that it, it's just not genetically possible for me to lose weight. Hmm. Instead of being a slimy, crooked, dishonest peddler of health and fitness services, I would actually launch a hamburger concept that would be absolutely honest, and that's the only guiding principle. Hey, this is bad for you, and it's gonna kill you. The first hard. The dark side is a path to many avenues that many would consider unnatural. This guy went from owning a health and fitness gym and just said, fuck it, and I'm cashing it in for the red lightsaber. I'm... <laughs> Butchered that line. I did, but shut up. Nobody noticed. Heart Attack Grill in Arizona featured a front door sign reading, Caution, this establishment is bad for your health, before they'd later add cash only because you might die before the check clears. <laughs> Inside yeah, I like this guy. I would eat at this. <laughs> I would eat at this place. Yeah, it work it's working on me. It's working on me, bro. I would <laughs> they'd proudly display the catchphrase taste worth dying for Holy however shit. the most insane piece of signage was without a doubt this reading anyone over 350 pounds eats for free all day every day unlimited with the only rules being no taking food to go no sharing with others and does not include anyone over 350 pounds eats for free okay this is this is thousands of dollars in revenue, okay? Thousands of dollars. But we draw the line at beverages. You have to pay for your Coke. <laughs> beverages, although this wasn't the only unlimited service offered by the restaurant. Instead of a salad bar, there's an all-you-can-eat flatliner fries bar. To serve God, dude, is it bad that I would be all over that shit, bro? They got cheese fries, bro? Um, if you drink Diet Coke, you can eat anything. No, that's Coke Zero. Go for you. <laughs> After free meals, Basso took a tip from Hooters by hiring a bunch of sexy nurses with a theme of honesty or- God, he knows, dude. He's on to us, guys. He went to the MMO genre and was like, what is selling in this genre? Because these are the people that are going to come to my restaurant and eat for free. He knows. Also extending into the job application process with questions such as whether the applicant has an in or outy belly button, who would they have a hot one night stand with, their opinion on certain conspiracy theories, and a comment stating, no one gives a damn about your academic achievements, but if you want to bore us with them, go right ahead. <laughs> hey, at least he's being honest. This is the application to work there, okay? And this is basically him saying, Hey, 
but he can't legally say that. Hooters does the same thing. But you can't legally tell someone that they're not attractive enough to work at your environment. So you make some bogus ass um, interview or process and then you call them in for an interview. As the head of the restaurant, John spends every day dressed as a doctor, stating, We promote nicotine, alcohol, caffeine, fat, cholesterol, sodium, all the building blocks of a quality, healthy, good time. With these <laughs> insane statements leading to his first appearance on a local news station. There is a this is exactly what he's going for. I just want to, I just want to put out, I just want to point out, this is exactly what he's going for. Please put me on the news. Right? Oh, thank goodness, bro. That'll, that'll drive business down. Oh no, she condemned me on channel four. Restaurant in Tempe where the food is so rich, they call their big burger the quadruple bypass. Not everybody <laughs> thinks that's funny. Least of all, the Arizona Board of Nurses. I don't know, man, that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Same. The news story then stated that the American Nursing Board had received five or six complaints about them calling their waitresses nurses. However, five or six complaints was a small price to pay, given the story was basically free advertising. All right, so if you want to bypass, of course, the good kind, now you know where to go. It's called the Heart Attack Grill. This then turned into further news coverage, where John explained the other ways in which the restaurant might kill you. We don't do Diet Coke. We don't do light... <laughs> Don't, don't, don't pretend. Go for the real deal. We don't pretend in this restaurant. Fuck all that shit. There's no Coke Zero here. There's no Diet Coke here. There is Cokeium. Light beers. We don't even provide lettuce on our burgers. He's in a doc uniform. He's literally wearing a goddamn stethoscope, dude. <laughs> This dude's in a tie and stethoscope, man. Take approach beating all of their competitors. John, this is creating a firestorm. I have a feeling this is just what you wanted. Well, I What is she doing here? Of course we know what she's doing there. Nobody's looking at John right now. I can't say that I don't enjoy the publicity. It definitely does pack. And honestly, if it wasn't in 240p, that would probably have helped the seats in the restaurant we've been so lucky as of recently our web traffic exceeds mcdonald's.com after noticing yeah, the media stories help the business grow that attempt to set the guinness world record for the world's unhealthiest burger achieving such with the 9982 calorie quadruple bypass burger you could eat it so long as you just didn't eat anything for the rest of the week the whole thing just like, and honestly, it's a time saver. It's a time saver. For being honest, you go in, you eat one of these burgers, you don't have to eat the rest of the week. That's it. That's how it works. That's the reptile diet. Exactly. You just vegetate the rest of the week. You're good. Although this gluttonous piece of food will be served with a... Honestly, this is how you min-max your BDO grind. You don't even have to stop for food anymore. You just keep going in a circle at orcs. Side of tragedy. The heart attack grill had introduced a spokesperson named Blair Rivar, who at six foot eight, 570 pounds, appeared in all of 570 pounds? Dude, at a certain point, they just start taking off limbs. I'm not joking. I used to work with doctors every day. I was a medical scribe. I worked in almost every single profession. I, I talked to every single specialty. I know these people. They used to tell me, they'd be like, Blue, I'm going to have to take that guy's arm. And I'm like, fuck. And they're like, yeah, uh, and honestly, it's easier for the heart. The, like, the heart is honestly working overtime to pump blood to the entire body. And if you just take off a limb, well, then the heart doesn't have to pump blood to that part of the body anymore. Basic science. If you won't lose weight, we will take a limb. Diabetes. Of the restaurant's ads. I'm up another few inches. Who needs these old pants? I could eat for free. In a 2011 news report, Blair <laughs> talked about feeling incredibly healthy. This is good stuff. Everyone should be modern sized like myself. Modern sized. Do you know why he called it modern sized? Because anything beyond modern means today. Modern means today. Okay. 
tomorrow, all of those people are dead. There's nobody that's 570 pounds living in a nursing home. Doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. Okay. That's modern sized. Jesus. Incredibly healthy. Yeah. This is good stuff. Everyone should be modern sized like myself. However, he. I will be the world for. Oh, shit. Passed away before the interview even aired. Sadly, we now know how long. He didn't even make it to the internet. He didn't even make it through it. That was Blair died last week at the age of 29. His family. It was probably a car accident. God, I just hate it. You know, these drunk drivers. Yeah. Brutal. 29. Yeah. He wrecked his Harley up at bike week, guys. It's too bad. It could happen to anybody. He says the cause of death was pneumonia. Even in death. <laughs> All right. That is true. You are much more likely to get pneumonia. And when you get sick and you're this big, you're going to get really sick. You're going to get really sick. And when your lungs fill with fluid and you're drowning, we really don't have a solution for that. The Heart Attack Grill maintained their brutally honest branding. Had he have been thinner, he most probably would have survived that pneumonia. Bang on! Bang on! I like this guy. I like this guy. In a day and age when no one can say anything because of political correctness, I like this guy, dude. This guy's a specimen. Yeah. Aren't you glorifying obesity, which Ab obviously kills? Absolutely. With Basso taking this even further in a different interview. If they do die here, I'm not going to lie to you. That's great for business. I'll say it again. Death is great for business at the heart attack grill. Although the media's goal of discrediting the... Bro, so <laughs> They're keeling over and they're telling the waitresses to get out their phones and tape it. Like, what are you doing, bro? Like, founder only did the opposite. It's actually refreshing to see someone so painfully on it. Big true. The owner is great. He makes no apologies, nor should he. You can't blame him for people doing this to themselves. It's impossible to hate this guy because he. <laughs> being 100% honest. In a different interview, Basso showed his more compassionate side by stating, cynical people might think this, Riva's death is funny, but people who knew him are crying their eyes out. There is a lot of mourning going on around here. You couldn't have found a better person. Even if he was skinny, we would have given him the job. We would have just put a fat suit on him. He just had personality. It was important that he was fat, but he had a, he had a great personality. I respect it. Yeah. As did the restaurant's next spokesperson, Ernie Hart, who wouldn't last long either, although for a slightly different reason. In October... God. Car accidents in this country are getting out of control, man. This is why you drive a car with a five-star crash test safety rating. 2011, Basso moved the restaurant to the land of indulgence, pleasure, and poor short-term choices. Oh, I'm sure that I'm sure that this didn't go well. Las Vegas. The new and improved restaurant featured a public electronic cattle scale, as well as new signage reading "Fighting Anorexia Since 2005." <laughs> and <laughs> he is fighting anorexia, dude. <laughs> but I don't think the anorexics are coming to your store. Oh my god, dude. Woo, man. Send hate mail to followed by their address. The new location also led to a brand new slogan. Remember, the calories you eat in Vegas stay in Vegas. As well oh, Jesus Christ, dude. That's how it works. Again, one burger and then you don't have to eat the rest of the week, boys.
well as an instant increase in business. Time saver. We've both doubled in terms of money, in terms of square footage. However, the craziest change was without a doubt their menu. Despite their quadruple bypass already holding the record for the highest calorie burger, the Heart Attack Grill then doubled their invention, creating the Octuple Bypass Burger, which featured eight patties, 40 pieces of bacon, and 19,900 calories. At around the same oh. Time Saver Plus. One burger, you don't eat the rest of the month. And I just want to say that Kevin from The Office had this right from the beginning. An antacid pill that you only have to take once a week. An antacid pill that you only have to take once every 10 days. An antacid pill that you only have to take once a year. Too big of a pill to swallow. That's what he said. That's what he said. And that burger looks like too big of a burger to swallow, but I assure you, you can do this. No, one burger and you no longer eat for the rest of your life. That's right, because it's going to be so short same point in time the heart attack grill updated their website to include free video and images for the press where the motivation for the <laughs> they're just straddling a cigarette dude it's like 1980s advertising man <laughs> and it's working that's the sad part the octuple bypass burger became pretty obvious they were trying to generate media attention oh my god it literally just dripped onto the fucking grill. He has to hold it so that it doesn't fall over. They don't even look cooked all the way through. They don't, it's actually just dripping. What's the orange stuff? Pleasantness. Also heaven. And this is exactly what they got. The new burger led to over a hundred million views worth of exposure on YouTube as different content creators visited the restaurant to see if they I could love eat it. Those who could, such as Matt Stoney, were given a ride out of the restaurant in a novel. That guy was going in. Did you see that shit? See if they could eat it. Those who could. Bro, look at this guy go. Good at her job. If you are a thin, attractive woman and you are staring at men doing this to a burger and you're going, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. This is probably your career. You need to apply at this restaurant. such as Matt Stoney, were given a ride out of the restaurant in a novelty wheelchair, although there were others who were forced to leave in an Novelty wheelchair or authentic stretcher? Take your pick. Ambulance. A customer at the heart attack grill was rushed to the hospital after eating a sandwich called the Triple Bypass Burger. In February 2012, an article was published titled Man Has Heart Attack While Eating at the Heart Attack Grill, which is followed by another article only two months later reading Heart Attack Grill lives up to its name again this week when a woman collapsed in their Las Vegas restaurant. This marks the- I can guarantee you that the restaurant owner is like, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Got another one. Got another one. The second person to fall victim to their horrifically caloric food in less than a year with a heart attack grill responding in the most brand appropriate way oh God. by bragging about it on their website. Yeah. <laughs> I would expect nothing less. Two ambulance departures in less than 60 days left an indelible mark on the Heart Attack Grill's public image. Dr. John delivered a clear message to the media that such tragedy shall- Don't call him Dr. John. He's where he's got a stethoscope around his neck. He's not a doctor. I've got a white coat. Bro, don't call him a doctor, dude. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Colonel Sanders is not a colonel. Okay?
They'll inevitably continue due to having clientele which he refers to as being the avant-garde of nutritional risk takers. Did that heart attack pad my wallet with money? Absolutely. Did I enjoy that? Absolutely. Although this is still nothing. <laughs> It's, it's so savage. It's so savage. This guy is actually just... Yes, I enjoyed that. Every second of their heart attack. Holy shit. Um, Vunaki is definitely a doctor. He has the uniform. <laughs> it's a rat. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back for two months. You're American, aren't you? Yeah, I don't know how I knew that compared to what would happen one year later. The Heart Attack Grill had a new unofficial spokesperson named John Alleman, who was recognized as the restaurant's most loyal customer. He never missed a day, even on Christmas, Basso said. People just loved him. He connected with people in a real way, although all of this changed on the 11th of February, 2013. Did he die too? Jesus Christ. After chowing down on his daily feed at the grill, John Elliman suffered a heart attack and died while waiting for the bus at the Not technically in the restaurant. And where most establishments, where most establishments would probably say it's not our fault, he technically died at the bus and not our restaurant. I guarantee you these guys were like, that, that was us. We did that. We, we did it. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> the front of the store. This led to Basso's craziest PR stunt to date. They'll say, Why are you sweating? Because it's hot as shit where I live. It's grotesque. They'll yes, say, how, they will. how can you keep the man's cremation here? With Basso keeping the cremation. Oh my God, dude. You got, he's literally still here. Bro, what is going on? inside the restaurant as he wants you to know his food kills so that maybe you'll stop eating junk. This man is willing to sacrifice his reputation and maybe even his humanity to try and make the world a healthier place. I respect him for it. Okay, okay. I don't know if I would go this far. He's not sacrificing shit for his reputation. He did not have to go to medical school for 12 years. He put the stethoscope around his, his neck. Doctor, easy. Um... He did not sacrifice his reputation. People love him. Yeah, some people hate him, hate him, but fuck those people. It's fine. They don't understand. Okay. Basso believes the restaurant helps customers to reflect on their own choices, having stated anybody who's over 350 pounds gets on that scale. We applaud them like the big sumo wrestler they are. Treat them like a champ. Make them feel good for that moment. Give them free food all they want. And again, we go back to Kevin. Kevin, in sumo culture, You'd be considering a promising up and comer. You'd be considered a promising up and comer. Want. But these people go home at night and they ponder that and say, Wow, why did I just get free food and have the whole restaurant applauding for me? Because I'm a freak, plain and simple. Before adding, I'm running an obesity intervention and I think it works. I really do. Everybody should check out our Facebook and see a lot of people say, Hey, Dr. John, I've lost 82 pounds since the last time I was in. It's the X Factor, something that snapped in that person that said, Wow, I'm going to make a change in my life. And they did. And that's fabulous. With this. I could have sworn that they were really kind of coming at it from a different angle, which is like solving obesity one heart attack at a time. Sentiment also showing up in the YouTube comments. The Heart Attack Grill restaurant has motivated me to take care of myself, stick to my diet. The namesake restaurant actually sends a... It's kind of like well, COVID was, you know, COVID uh, for a lot of, um, a lot of people was solving Medicare. You know what I mean? Don't have to pay for old people if no one wants to get vaccinated. Because there are no more old people if no one gets vaccinated. A very positive message. If you don't take care of yourself today, you might find yourself eating a free meal at my restaurant in the not so distant future because everyone over 350 pounds eats for free and therefore Basso believes the restaurant is an overall positive. I am a believer that when people hear my message, the net health benefit to society is incredibly good. However, you won't be surprised to hear that not everybody agrees. He's deliberately. Why did I know it was going to be a white woman? trying to get people to eat more than they need with this being echoed by the legendary anthony bourdain and a white man
Kane who stated, There is a restaurant in Vegas, I think it's called the Heart Attack Grill, where if you're over 350 pounds, you eat for free. I think that should be pretty much a war crime. Okay, yeah, this is my point, dude. I, this... This first world mentality that this is like somehow should be branded a war crime. Obviously, he's being a little bit like over the top here. But to even remotely compare this to a war crime is a joke, is a complete joke. Amen. On top of this, a former waitress went public talking about her. That's such a first world take, man. That's such a first world take. Terrible time working at the restaurant, explaining that after a man passed out mid meal, a manager made me take out my cell phone. Yeah, exactly. The per person who likes this street. <laughs> War crime? Is this, is it your choice to eat this food? Yeah, exactly. At one point, the man passed out. A manager made me take out my son. Nah, dude. I'm going to record a video of the whole thing so they could send it to the media. It was on a Friday afternoon and he hoped it would make the news so they could have a busy weekend. On the opposite end. <laughs> you knew what you signed up for when you signed the employment contract. You knew what you signed up for. Don't act like you were surprised when they asked you to take out your phone. Of the spectrum, a different waitress stated this. I've been here 11 years. I, 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 I enjoy this way too much. So the experience clearly depends on which person you ask. In a different instance, the PC. They have midgets riding around in little little cars. With the. RM sent a letter to Basso asking him to declare moral bankruptcy and close the heart attack grill. However, given the restaurant earned five and a half million in revenue last year, it seems obvious that Dr. In 2019, no. damn it! This is how they get you. When John Basso depends on which person you ask. In a different instance, the PCRM sent a letter to Basso asking him to declare moral bankruptcy. And oh, he declared moral bankruptcy the second that he turned on the red lightsaber. He didn't give a shit. Close the heart attack grill. However, given the restaurant earned five and a half million in revenue last year, five and a half million dollars. Oh my god. It seems obvious that Dr. John Basso and the- In fairness, sell one burger, don't have to feed that person for another month. It's a W. Heart attack grill won't be going anywhere anytime soon. Hell no, he isn't.